hello and welcome to the Matchday Vlog YouTube channel. Uh, today is Saturday the 13th of January 2024 and you find me here a, a long long way away from St Mary's Stadium. Um, I'm currently in the Netherlands and I'm going to be driving 300 miles across three borders to watch my team play football and if that's not worth you smashing and utterly destroying the like button then I really don't know what is. Anyway Let's get going. Dumbest idea I've ever had. Where were you? Right, I'm here in Southampton, ready to go. It's Saints versus Sheffield Wednesday. Let's find out where Jack is. So we're finally here in the stadium. The team sheets are out. And uh, it's, it's pretty much what we expected, really, wasn't it? It was kind of a, a, with the omission of Smallbone in for Charles, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, at this point now, I'm, we can run this club if we needed to. We, we, can, we can go out and pick this line. If, we, if Russ fancies, um, you know, a week off, we can we can fill in. But, yeah, that's pretty much what we said, minus um, yeah, Smallbone for Charles. Yeah, yeah. But uh, given the injuries, I don't know what else you would really start with, to be honest. Um, well, it's that attacking lineup that we expected, wasn't it? Like Fraser, Adams and Armstrong. It's just, it's just what makes sense. Yeah, it, uh, you look at those three and see if they're going to absolutely click today or it's going to be a little bit dry. But uh, the nice thing is there are, there's ammunition on the bench of Nibi of a little bit of pace. You know, get ammo on there. You know, there's, there's people that uh, we can see come on. Alcaraz can come on as well. So it's a good team. It's a good squad. I'm just, I'm still quite worried about their press. I am worried about their press. I mean, everyone's been talking about the fact that, you know, this, this Sheffield Wednesday side are a different side to what we played at the opening fixture of the season. But this Southampton side is a completely different side to what we saw in that opening fixture. But, you know, I'm still hoping that we can keep a clean sheet. Uh, we can nullify their attacking options. Uh, are you still feeling confident on the score predictions? The, 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 the closer I got to the stadium today, the more I felt maybe it'd be a bit tighter than I think it's going to be. But end of the day I think the Saints squad are currently they should go out there and do their own thing I shouldn't even have to worry about this lot it's just them firing so you know it's four still a bit outrageous yeah but I don't care let's do it let's, let's stick with it let's do it indeed I mean of course Russell Martin uh, down talking all the talks of the records that could be broken in the coming fixtures uh, and it's all about uh, getting as many points as we can and hunting down the opposition ahead of us but kickoff is ramping up and um, I'm so tired. <laughs> How you feeling, bud? Yeah, I, I'm feeling very sleepy. Very sleepy. Yeah, yeah, a little bit of an early start. I, I did a bit of an earlier thing, so the people at home will, will know exactly that the distance has been covered. And uh, I guess we'll know how far Michael go not to miss a game. I guess we will know. There we go. Anyway. Good job, bud. Good job. Did, did you bring my Dutch Twix? It's funny you should say that. I did take a photo of a Twix in a vending machine in my hotel in Holland. And it's not here? Where, where, is, where is that Twix now? I didn't have any Euros with me. That's what I'm going with. Anyway, kickoff coming up.
Derek one year to say, we're going to win this thing, we're going to win now. Uh, Andy, what do you think of the score? Not very good, we should be at least 3 0 up. Okay, I'm going to hang you back now for the country boss with my thing. Like... It's half time here at St Mary's. It's currently Southampton 1, Sheffield Wednesday 0. Um, Sheffield Wednesday's press has been a little bit, little bit scary. Um, early on, there was a bit of a scare, mix up at the back. Um, but aside from that, I think we do. We kind of worn them down, haven't we? Yeah, it's, they, they're already looking a bit bambi legged and a bit, a bit elasticated by the end of that half. So, it look, I mean, we're doing what we're doing. We're, doing. We're, we're controlling the press, allowing the run onto it, and just wearing them out. I think the floodgates are coming. That's what it feels like. You reckon? Eventually, they're going to fall. <laughs> Much like Rome, they will fall. <laughs> I mean, certainly Sheffield Wednesday have come to play their game, but we are we're still playing ours, I and mean, we're still doing that terrifying method of playing out from the back. But those those intricate passes are finding space, and I do think you're right in terms of the how the rest of the game's going to go. We're going to break them down, and uh, hopefully we them out. Um, shout out for Ryan Frazier. I think he's looking pretty, pretty amazing, isn't he? Yeah, he's t- he's he's got his chance to start the game. He's absolutely running with it. I mean, he doesn't offer the same as what like a Doji does in that wing of like cutting up a player, but just brute force, just getting into those spaces. Yeah. He's doing exactly the job. It's amazing. It's amazing to see. Like again, like, some of the balls over the top, they're getting, we're going a bit more direct today. I think the, the, the goal is just get get it there a little bit quicker, and the boys are just t- touching it down like it's nothing on the wing. So it just looks great. This is great. It does look good. And certainly Shea Adams getting a goal against the, the blue half of Sheffield. He particularly enjoyed that. Um, was there a bit of a hand involved in the build-up? Who knows? Who cares? We hate VAR. That pretty much concludes our thoughts on the half. Uh, let's hope some more goals in the second half. Second half coming up. Oh, not bad.
support this season. I've seen Leeds yeah. around. Hundred percent. Really quiet as well. Yeah. All right, we're into five minutes of stoppage time here at St Mary's Stadium. It's currently Southampton four, Sheffield Wednesday nil. You know what? Sometimes you love football and it loves you back. Uh, it's been quite, quite an emphatic day for me personally but to see this team go out and do what they do and some of the passing has looked so good I think my eyes have got indigestion how's this been Jack? We're now a team where when we go into games you don't have to worry about what the other team are going to do because we're going to go in there and do our job we're going to pass the ball around we're going to tire you out we're going to get our chances and we're going to take them if we don't take our chances we're going to get more chances and take them we're wicked <laughs> it is look great I mean Sheffield Wednesday have looked a better side than they did when we saw them back in early August um, but you know both these sides are playing completely different football to what they were back then you know we're playing the system now the players have got used to it they're playing it well they're playing it with confidence they're playing it with terrifying confidence out from the back and even with the changes made we're still seeing the same glorious football and it's great to see chances for Tyler Dibbing you know when you're 4-0 up you can bring on your academy players and uh, give them first team football so fantastic stuff this equals a record doesn't it this equals a very special record I can't believe we won 4-0 and I've seen all four goals yeah. <laughs> what's going on this one <laughs> you no longer have to go and get a beer Louis no, no, the, the, the goals happen in front of you <laughs> oh what a touch offside my bum and there it is descended Southampton 4 Sheffield Wednesday nil. as always remember like, comment, subscribe we'll see you in the next one. All right, see ya.